Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Patrick here, and you are about to hear from another one of our discipleship class students. His name is Adam, and his story is quite incredible, both how he came here to the Martinsburg Indian Rescue Mission and what he is able to take from the classes that we are offering him to be able to move his life forward in the name of Christ. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to talk to Adam. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Patrick here, and I am here, as you can see, with another one of our awesome discipleship class students. I'm here with Adam today, and we're going to talk a little bit about Adam's journey, how he got into our program here, and then what the discipleship class is doing for him and how he's actually applying it as he goes about his life here. So welcome, Adam. Uh, hello, Patrick. Adam's another one of the big talkative ones, as you can see, like we had William in here last week. So, no, Adam's a gr been a great student. So, Adam, how did you end up with us here at the mission? What, what were the circumstances that brought you in here? Uh, pretty much, uh, my wife and I have been fighting a lot and uh, thinking I was a wise man. Um, I offered her, in the beginning of our, our relationship, I, I would do the drug molly with her to get her off of heroin. And to make a long story short, I've been here since uh, Christmas Eve last year, and doing one drug to get off another isn't exactly a wise idea, um, and that's pretty much why I am here. So I'm trying to be a better person so I can be a better leader to other people and save them the right way through God first, instead of trying to be number one in everybody's lives and, and thinking I'm wise that way. And you mentioned your wife. You are still it's still married. I saw I was waiting into her almost literally yesterday as I was coming through the door. Yes, um, so so has that relationship been strengthened since it's, you've come in? It's better. It's a lot better. We mm -hmm. see each other one day a week. And we're, mm -hmm. we're communicating. Uh, we're not talking about divorce anymore. Still have our bad days like anybody does in any kind of relationship. Um, you got to have a lot of patience when dealing with anything in this life. And I've been taught a lot of patience here. A lot of other good things, too. Um, Which is one of the things we're going to talk about now. Because Adam, like I said, he is in our 830 to 930 discipleship class. And you've been in it for about a month now. So what were your initial impressions when you came into the class? My initial impressions when I first came into the class are like, wow, these people really want to help. And wow, these people really know the Bible and they know what they're talking about. To add into that the number of different pastors we have each and every day or each and every week, uh, it's been a great experience for me. And I'm learning a lot. And it's stuff I already know because I do have a little bit of church background in my childhood. So I thank God for that. If I wouldn't have had that, maybe I wouldn't have been able to realize that and see how good these people really are. And that Martinsburg isn't a totally bad city anymore. I don't feel that way anymore. So you did have some biblical background as you were walking yes, into the class then. Yes, okay. Sir. And had you stepped away from the church? Is that what happened? Would you hear that all the time? I went to church as a kid and then it left as soon as I could type thing. Is that? I've counted three different pastors now that say they got baptized when they were a kid. Right. Same way. Okay. Right here. I was like eight years old when I got baptized. I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've stepped up now and I've given my mm -hmm. heart to God again. That is but that. This time awesome. I have no excuse. That I'm that not is a awesome. Child anymore. That's that's right. Yeah, you're you're not the babe in the woods anymore, right? No. So, so let's talk a little bit about the class. Now, we we yesterday um, we we looked at um, really some of the lesson centered around humility, and that's yes. kind of kind of what it was. So, what did you you have the lesson in front of you there? Was there anything that you specifically that really took? hold of you as you were going through it and said, uh, you know, wow, I can take this moving forward type thing. Um, the main thing I took from the lesson was that um, you need to humble yourself before God. You can't go in there thinking, well, I want this this way and I'm just going to ask God in my prayers to have it my way. I got to humble myself and I got to know that he'll answer my prayer. But he's going to do it in his way, and it's going to be in his time, and I need to know that going in. And i got to be very, practice humility all the time with my God. Mm -hmm. 
And and how how do you think as you move forward, you'll apply that to, to your life as as you you know as you go through the next few days, weeks, months, years type thing? I'm actually doing things now that I don't want to do or don't like to do, and in the name of God too. Mm-hmm. And I think about everything I've been taught, and it's not easy all the time. I don't always take the easy road anymore, and I don't make excuses. I don't do things like. Well, I'll do some Molly so I can keep my wife. Right. You understand that that's not really God's path that he wants you to be going down. Yes, type thing. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to tell the people that are watching out there that, uh, before we yeah, wrap up today? I, I would, uh, actually. Um, if any of you guys need help out there and you've been struggling for a long time, I'm 47 years old. And I've been a terrible human being before I got saved. And I feel a lot better now and I'm a lot more at peace. I do a whole lot of things different now. I act a whole lot different. I get up, I make my bed in the morning, I'm working, I'm happy. Come here and get some help. There's very good people here and everybody's here for your better well-being and for the better glorification of God. So if, if you need help, this is the place to come to. I've been to the VA a couple times few different other places this is the place to come thanks for listening thanks so much adam and and if you would like to continue to help us pour into and help bring hope to people like Adam and the others that you've heard from. Remember, you can visit our website, MartinsburgUnionRescueMission.com, to make that financial donation because we can't do it without your support. Every single dime that you donate into us, you spend in the store, stays right here at 608 West King Street to help continue this discipleship process that we're going through with the men that come through our doors. And also remember, we are completely dependent on those donations. We are not government funded. We do not take a dime of government money. So any type of financial donation you can use, uh, you can supply is greatly appreciated. Also remember our Amazon wish list is on there. And when you are shopping on Amazon to use smile.amazon.com to pick, to give us a little bit more of a donation because you're already buying on Amazon anyway. So it doesn't really hurt to pick us as your charity of choice on buying the stuff that you're already buying anyway. Thanks so much, Adam, for joining us, taking the time to join us. And now get back to work. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Everybody have a great, great day. And I will talk. We'll see you again very soon.